Well, I grew up all over the North Island, so we, um, my dad was a... Uh, uh, had many different vocations. He was uh, at one point he was a prison officer. Um, so one time we we lived in small villages that was full of um, prison officers and all their children. Daniel Dredge, Daniel Dredge was his name, and um, yeah, one time we uh, we saw this big big hayfield, big huge hayfield, and just before we'd been going around burning up rubbish bins around town burning up people's rubbish bins outside. We thought, hey, hey, what do you think it'll look like? And we burned down this field. He goes, oh yeah, 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 we'll try it out, we'll try it out. So we walked up to this field, we grabbed some matches, psh, boom. And uh, the fire started to get pretty big. <laughs> it got big pretty fast, huh? And then, um, oh man, then we started getting all, fuck, 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 what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, fuck? Oh shit, fuck. And because this field ran up to a house, the field ran up to a house as well, and so fucking like spread pretty quickly, running up to the house, running up to the house, fuck. Oh, we were fucking pissing, we were pissing ourselves, bro. And yeah, and we got caught out because um, we were, yeah, never gloat about what you do. Like I wouldn't say the environment I was in back home was, would, would, would be the best, would have been the best for me. You know, there's a lot of um, street gangs and a lot of violence. Violence is probably big, it's a big thing over in New Zealand. A lot of um, Māori kids, half Māori kids grow up with a lot of violence around them. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of anger um, when I first came here as well. And Billy noted that as well. When I first came here, I had a lot of anger, a lot of aggression and a lot of um, emotions I needed to get off and get out and, and express some way, um, some way without uh, uh, harming myself and harming other people, and I felt I, I had a lot, a lot, a lot of myself to give. And you know, I had a lot of anger from breakdown of relationships with my mother, um, I don't know, girlfriends, uh, my father, my grandfather, all, all those. It was, I needed to let it out and express it somehow, or else it would have been pretty fucked up for me. Like with, when I first joined the school, it wasn't, wasn't my intention to become an actor at all. It was not my intention. My intention was to come over here and somehow jump onto London and, and go, go search up, uh, explore the world. But um, I ran into Billy my second day here and uh, I was planning on starting acting lessons about two, three weeks later, but he actually forced me into starting straight away. And then um, as classes progressed, um, I actually found I had a, um, I had a passion for it. And, and uh, I know sometimes there's, there's this feeling, you know, that feeling you get when you, when you feel like you, you, know, you belong somewhere. And yeah, it's like coming home, you feel like, this is what I've been looking for my whole life. I finally found it, you know. I hadn't really, like, I, I hadn't really committed to really joining acting school, but um, so I gave Billy a call. He said, okay, yeah, 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 come meet me, come meet me. I go, oh, okay, okay, all right, cool. So I came to meet him, and then um, all I can remember my first meeting was um, him going, yeah, you can start start next next Monday, start next Monday. And I just met him on Friday. I'd just come over from New Zealand on Thursday. You start next Monday, start next Monday. I can remember him swearing a lot, and back then I didn't swear at all. So it was pretty... Uh, <laughs> I thought this guy's a bit, a bit of an expletive explet sort of guy. But uh, yeah, he forced me. I gave him a call. We met up and... I wouldn't say force, he sort of encouraged me, encouraged me to, to take the dive, and so I did. I actually, I went back home that night and I talked to my uncle about it, and he said, you know what, boy, um, what do you got to lose, you know? It might, might take a year out of your life, but what do you got to lose? And acting training can be good for you in so many ways, it can help you open up, can help you interact with people in a different way. What do you got to lose, so? 
Billy's encouragement, my uncle's encouragement would have sort of put me on the track of becoming an actor. Um, yeah. Um, one of the actors that would have in inspired me before my, uh, my, uh, my deep delving into the acting world would have been Will Smith. And just, um, I don't know, Will Smith, he, when you look at him, he just has, a, he has this natural love of life. You know, he loves life. You, you can tell it. he exudes it. And his, his worth, work ethic and all the success he's gotten throughout his life, that sort of, that was a big inspiration for me. Um, I can remember one interview, that, and you're saying to the, saying to the interviewer that uh, when you're relaxing, I'm working. When you're sleeping, I'm working. Uh, when you're taking time off, I'm working. When you're making love, I'm working. Ah, nah, actually, I'm making love too, but I'm working real hard at it. But just that, you know, his work ethic, fucking, that was that was really inspiring, and and. and he goes on to show all the, all the things he's achieved in his life and all the success. And, you know, he's got a family. He's got a... Uh, um, they say that actors can't have successful uh, marriages. Nah, this guy's got it all. When I initially came to The Pulse, I thought everybody was tripping. Uh, I walked up the stairs. I mean, the first class I was in was... Um, Ivan, Ivan, Ivan's class, I think. Everybody's standing around repeating shit. You're you're something. You're 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 suspicious. You're da 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 da. Yo 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 yo. I'm fuck, man. I'm come to this is I'm come to the wrong place. Is this acting? Is it, what the hell is this? Uh, but then, I uh, slowly, slowly, I became one of those uh, mental cases. I'm right at home now. I feel like with some people, I feel while doing repetition, I feel like I, I've um, you know when you really connect and you really get um, you really deeply connect with someone else, you feel like you've known them for how, how do I how to say it? Um, you have more of a deeper connection than 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 you would might have with someone you know to for two to three years in 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 a matter of ten minutes doing the repetition exercise. Because it really does take you away from your your mind and into your body and into all these extrasensory sort of metaphysical things we don't usually exercise in and you know? And I can remember having a, another rep doing repetition with someone else. I won't I won't name her. But um Remember calling, calling something. Uh, I mean, maybe you're irresponsible, or something like that, something like that. And just in that call, I saw, I felt like, um, I saw her open, just just really open, and I felt like I could, you know, the core of who she was was right in front of me, and I could do whatever I wanted. If that makes sense, like. Like I had the essence of another person at my fingertips, and it was a, it was actually a great feeling. It was actually a very um, enlightening thing for me. Okay, so my understanding of activities indoors is um, the person in the room has an activity. And this activity is meant to be uh, meant to be physically um, difficult, almost impossible. Um, this is supposed to be there doing the, this activity is supposed to um, help them do something for someone else and the other person come, who comes to the door is supposed to get something from this person who's doing the activity and because they want to get something they both want to get something I guess that, that creates conflict because they have to take the one person on at the same time and, and still be a human while still be fighting for what they for what they need as well